All right, five women that you need to avoid in 2024. You might be familiar with these, but I want you guys to be on your path and purpose. We no longer can say getting a woman is enough. We no longer can say, hey, I can get women is enough. A lot of us are getting people and women and men and mates, women getting men, men getting women, and they're all, almost always not working out. It's almost always the woman comes out and she's the victim, but she chose the guy. Same thing as us. We're actually getting with women, and then we proceed to go down and deal with all these issues, domestic violence, child support, divorce, and then we try to blame the women in the system. It's the system. Well, if we are actually doing a good job at vetting, if you go past a period of 50 years, you'd actually, by natural selection, eliminate all the strags. But no, she has a fat ass, and then you proceed, and then you deal with bullshit. And then we are out here, got to clean up the mess. But by process of elimination and what? process of elimination and natural selection, you would get rid of the problem. You would rid, eradicate the problem. Avoid these five women. Let me go ahead and take you to some clips because these will justify it. This is going to be a, um, a video that says this woman represents all women. Now, we don't say stuff like that. Why? Not because it's not true. It's because people will say, not all women, and that's what I don't want to hear. But uh, take a look at this woman here. This is a woman here who's going to be a professional gaslighter okay you gotta stop putting up with gaslighting you gotta start putting up with abuse it's okay to say men are abused let's go ahead and roll the film and see if you recognize this woman in your relationships here we go where are you going home i thought you hated it there change my mind okay i'll see you tomorrow you're just gonna let me go back home no Thought you wanted to. Yeah, because you don't love me anymore. When did I say that? When you yelled at me for trying to hold your hand in the car. I didn't yell at you for trying to hold my hand. I yelled at you because you scared a customer off. You're yelling at me right now! Because you're being crazy. Where are you going? I don't know! My God, fucking headache. Are you breaking up with me? What? No. Can you just go back inside, please? Oh, man. <laughs> Swim fan over here. All right, these pet guys, you guys got to avoid this right here. See, a lot of guys think they got to argue with the woman and go back and forth in here and ha let her basically move the goalposts around the entire time. Gaslight him, basically give him ultimatums and all kind of bullshit. All right, manipulate the hell out of him to the point that he thinks he's crazy. And now she comes back and gives him a little bit of punani. And it's going to be good punani, too, because crazy women got good punani attached to them. It's the reason why the world's messed up. They got the best punani, crazy women. But he's going to give him Punani. He's going to forget about it. And next week is going to be the same thing. And this is a future domestic violation case. That's all it is right there. Mm. This goofball out here. You big dummy. Got to get rid of problematic, uh, a toxic, uh, toxic feminist, toxic feminism, toxically relationship women, uh, especially young men. Young men put up with this stuff. If you're older than 30 and you're putting up with this, you're the moron. But as you can see, she's, she gaslit the shit out of him. And... She probably does that on a daily basis. Um, uh, young people believe relationship. That is relationships. Why? We, lost, we watch the soap operas, the telenovelas, the dramas, the reality shows. And your early introduction to relationships sometimes is toxic like this, right? You argue, you bicker, you, you think that that's what you're playing house. You ever see two kids? You remember as a kid, you play house. What was the, one of the first things you did other than touch each other and kiss? You would argue and bicker. You would argue and bicker. So you, would, you, you, you actually learn this behavior through toxic relationships of the adults that raise you. Many people are, learn what relationships are through the adults that raise them. You've seen your mom and daddy bicker. You've seen um, you know, your, your family members bicker. And you played house, and that's what you did. Those are the first two things you do is argue and argue. Ah, blah, 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 blah. You, because people, children learn that that's what adults do. When they're in relationships. <laughs> All right. But. But it's kind of weird 
And then when people come become teenagers, you will find that because of the hormones, the emotions, and what they are known, what they know as relationships through people who raise them, they start to argue and bicker, right? Bicker, bicker, bicker as a part of the process. This constant, I don't understand you, and you don't understand me, and oh, girls, and oh, these guys are. This is learned behavior through exposure to through toxic information right here. So you guys got to put this, put these people to bed. You do. All right, we got another one here. Fake boss bitches. We need to leave fake boss bitches back in 2023. First of all, boss bitches are. Let you get it through your thick skull that I'm broke. Dead, flat, stony, broke. I've got $3.85 in my purse. We need to leave the boss babe back in 2023. No boss babe should get any attention. But of course, you ninjas is weak and you will fall for it. But let's hear this brother say it right here. These girls Mm -hmm. now, the Mm -hmm. new ones, Mm -hmm. be having like a fake boss persona. They have a little company, little business. They act like they make all this money and they got all this going on. Mm -hmm. And in reality... The shit don't be what it be. You understand? Yeah. I've seen a, I see a lot of that right now. Okay. Fake. Like, like we need a man. So you we, really we do need the man. We do. But the man that you that would take you, he blind. He see all the fake boss shit. He's like, well, you seem like you got it put together. What, I know. What's, what I'm gonna do? <laughs> what I'm what I'm gonna do? Shout out to this brother right here. I don't know who he is. Uh, it was a clip sent to me. And it's absolutely right. What you'll find out these these women are involved with scamming, cartel, um, uh, are in houses of prostitution. They got sugar daddies. Uh, many of them got fake. Four, I got four businesses. None of them businesses doing shit. All right, they might have one business doing shit, and that might have a storefront brick and mortar. But you can guarantee she behind on rent. Okay. All right, I've seen it. She behind on rent on her little salon. She live in the back of an apartment complex in the apartment in that salon. In that salon is a covered bedroom. That's where she live at. Shout out to her. More power to him. All right. Some of these women run drugs down the interstate 10. Okay. They be doing a crazy shit. They be selling OnlyFans. Boss bitches. Yeah. They, 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 uh, strippers. They be bottle service girls, boss babes. Eyelash techs, man. We need to leave all these women. Yeah. They do hair. Leave all of them women back in 2023 and let's classify them as what they are instead of this facade, or we call it a facade. All right. Actually, there was a story that people have been highlighting lately about these two Instagram models that got arrested. Um, But I actually highlighted the story when they got arrested. People are highlighting the story based on the conviction. But these two Instagram models was running drugs and they got popped, and then when they took their headshots, they took their headshots, everybody was making fun of them. Um, you know, I actually covered that months ago, but um, these women running drugs, the trafficking drugs, all right, party gangs and finessers and all of these things, gang bangers and all of this stuff and living a certain life, uh, but I broke them down. People wanted me to cover it again, but I was like, I already covered this shit, but, you know, not everybody watches every show and, you know, six-month-old videos don't hit no more. But uh, there they go. Uh, but if you want to see their Instagram photos, let me see if I can pull them up. Let's see if I can pull them up. These Instagram models right here. Trafficking 200 pounds worth of coca. Worth $2 million. Trafficking. They don't. They, not only they traffic coca, they trafficking children too. So uh, here they go right here. Look at these baddies. Baddie. We need to put the Instagram baddie to bed too. Please put the Instagram baddie to bed. These women are prostitutes. I, I mean, listen, it is what it is. Like, listen, if you deal with prostitutes, they were prostitutes. But we're not talking about baddies in this uh, form here. But, of course, there she is. Look, this is this woman right here. Yeah, she look a little chunky when she don't got that contouring makeup on. But there she is right there. She a baddie. Oh, with all that lighting and makeup and so forth and so on. But, uh, yeah. You know, these got these women typically don't date stand up citizens. They date rappers and scammers and ballers and crazy. Mm. Drug mules. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Anyway, man. Hey, let's put in 2020. Let's let's leave bad fake bitches and f- boss babes in 2023. Leave them in 2023. All right. How about these women out here? 
All right, these women, uh, uh, relationship advice givers, all right? I know, they want to put the male podcasters, the alpha podcasters, the red pill co- podcasters out of business, but we need to put these female relationship podcasters out of business, all right? Podcasting from their car needs to be forbidden going forward. If you make a car video with relationship advice, you already done proved that you ain't invested in your relationship advice. All right, this is going to out of control. Ninja, give me some lighting. Give me some atmosphere. Give me some damn, don't just cheap way, press click on your TikTok and then start giving advice. For instance, this woman right here. Car videos, Ninja, we need to get rid of these car video mm. relationship advice givers. God damn. All right, and then the, the, let's listen to what type of advice she about to give right here. A lot of conversation about the really beautiful parts of men. A side of their money, a side of their <laughs> things that we are attracted to that don't get a lot of attention. And I know a lot of men are not going to listen to me or believe me, but when I tell you these attributes are so sexy. Number one is vulnerability. When a man can be honest about the trials and tribulations of life, how it made him feel, what he learned from it, how he grew, how he found resilience, how he's changed over time, and honestly and authentically articulate these things to his partner, to his friend, to his therapist, it is so fucking sexy. Unfortunately, a lot of men think that it's best to be a macho man. No. Don't cry. Blah, blah, blah. That is what other men are telling you no. to be. But what are the women saying? The women are saying, tell us, talk to us, confide in us. We want to help you. We want to get to know the real you. How can we really connect if you don't let me in? Next thing that I find Mwah, chef's kiss. Decisiveness. It is so sexy when a man can just make a decision. It's not about how quickly he makes a decision. It's about how he thought about it thoroughly. He weighed the options. He looked at the pros and cons and he made the best decision for the moment. And once he has made up his mind, it's made. If that ain't masculine energy, I don't know what is, baby. The next thing oh. is a man who cares about others. Oh. I always wondered why I had such a strong attraction to Malcolm X. Now, this is exactly why we need to get rid of these damn car videos. She, she got her air conditioning blowing. And all of these people are just jacking the manosphere talking points or some other pick Misha talking point. Whatever they're doing, they're selling sex. They're selling themselves sexy. They glammed up and they dressed. They got their hair done and they clicked. Got the air conditioning blowing. No damn microphone control. She up here lying her ass off. She lying. I don't give a fuck what you think, bitch. <laughs> Cut that bitch right. off. Let's and go. then they blow up. Then they all, oh, this person's the this person's the goat. You ain't no goat until you invested in your shit. You out here running around making car videos. All right. Samantha Lee running around here like a fugitive from a pancake box. Running around here. Stealing from men, stealing from men like Tyrese. Straight jacket. All right, and then she out here blowing up. Everybody listening to her because she put on some lipstick over her lips. Or they call it dick stick, whatever they call it. I mean, this is getting out of control. You guys need to avoid these people, man. Stop blowing their ass up on social media. Because <laughs> they just stealing my talking. They stealing everything that I done said and out there, there like they making it up. They ain't making up shit, these damn grifting ass uh, people out here. I mean, stop giving these women attention. Talking about men need to open up and share with them. That's the worst advice ever. <laughs> the worst advice ever. All right, what the hell? Mm. Shout out to Paul Mooney. That's the pancake box joke. All right, anyway. Where are we at? Uh, what are we doing? Did we get rid of that other woman? Five women to avoid here. We're gonna give you a. We're gonna give you a lot more of them, <laughs> a lot more of them. Uh, these girls, although these girls look very young, I'm gonna say they they these are teenagers. But uh, uh, you know, we do have teenagers that watch our show. Uh, these young ladies here. Uh, these are women that you must avoid. Uh, somebody, daddy must daddy must be um covering a lot of expenses or these girls have only fans all right because this is a nice car here with all pink seats i think only fans is popping these are underage 21 year olds let's roll it okay, so me and lily are talking about how we're both single as fuck <laughs> and we want like because we both have the same type we both like light skins right yeah and we're talking about like how we want them to be so what were the things that you said like they have to be like gorgeous like majestic like beautiful like you look at them and you're yeah. like ah! 
you know like just like gorgeous and then they have to be tall like they have to be like six foot preferably and but they can't be like they have to be nice but not too nice they have to yeah. be bitchy with you sometimes you mm -hmm. know like have that attitude like that roughness to them yeah because that's like attractive if they're too nice and show it's too much like, effort it's like Ooh. it's too like teddy berry but yeah like you oh know, like it's like a turn off like sweetie pie like get away you know <laughs> yeah okay what else do they need I would say that other they need to be like yeah don't say that's not from you <laughs> they need to be like really attracted to you like yeah really attracted to you like mm -hmm. oh my god wow you know they have to be like obsessed with you. not like obsessed with you where it's like a turn off obsessed but no like, a turn off uh, like an obsessed with you where they check your location yeah and they're like why am why am i on delivery and like if you don't answer their oh, call then they'll like call you like spam you two other times no like, like five like, yeah yeah they have to like care but not in a like annoying way not like yeah. hey hey boo boo like hey. where do we find these men at yeah so where the <laughs> fuck are like, they at this is what, find them, like, like we need now. oh my god imagine it's two best friends that's tough oh okay, my god so, so if tough. you guys know any like two best friends that fit our description let us know put us on put us on thank you bye guys <laughs>
hang up and you can't hear sh-. Called you five f-ing times. Five times. This is the sh- that pisses me off. I don't want to hear you had your f-ing ringer off because you already know how that situation goes. If I call you, you don't f-ing answer. That's the sh- that pisses me off. Now, if it was a f-ing emergency, you got your f-ing ringer off and you can't hear. Sh-. Yeah, peace over cheeks in 2024. Peace over cheeks in 2024. You guys got to demand this, man. No longer will but coach she's thick be an excuse to mess with toxic women. If you have them in your life in order to grow, you got to get rid of these people and these women that don't bring you peace. You don't deserve this. You don't deserve this. You don't realize how this eats at you and erodes who you are, your confidence. It distracts you and so forth and so on. Be careful. Okay. Last woman to avoid in 2024. It is the, it is the uh, woman that thinks she deserves money for no other reason but that she's a woman. All right, so we're going to take you to Sawidi. Sawidi. So Weedy's gonna say this. Don't ever be scared to ask for no money. Period. Okay. Cause like, it's hard to say. I mean, it's just we're women and we got How coochie. You ask? First mm. of all, coochie. but second of all, respectfully, respectfully, <laughs> respectfully, you always gotta be cute about it though. You know, like you know, babe, I need some groceries. I wanna go shopping. Yeah. Oh, you gotta set it up. You don't just flat out and yeah. ask for it. Mm. You gotta set it up nice and cute. First of all, ladies, don't ever be scared to ask for no money. Period. Okay. Cause it's like, it's hard to say. I mean, it's just we're women and we got How coochie. We're women and we got coochie. We're women and we got coochie. Says Sawidi. When I start selling pussy, I don't want to hear it. When I start selling pussy, I don't want to hear nobody say shit. When you see me on the corner, bitch, mind your business. <laughs> Yeah, we're women. We have coochies. We have to eat food. That's what she said. Mm. Now, again, an arrangement can be made, but uh, yeah, I'm going to need more than that. That's not going to be enough. Yeah, we're women. We have coochies and uh, we got to eat food. Yeah. First Mm. of all, but second of all, respectfully, (laughs) respectfully, respectfully, you always got to be cute about it, though. Yeah, just be cute. Just be cute. And then ask for the money. <laughs> we need to leave these women back in 2023. You know, like, you know, babe, I need some groceries. I got to eat. I want to go shopping. I want to buy, buy stuff. I mean, <laughs> like, it's that simple. Well, you're going to have to do a whole bunch more than that, ma'am. Yeah. You got to set it up. You don't just flat out and yeah. ask for it. You don't? Oh, my goodness. All right, Jesus, man. Send it. <laughs> oh man you better swallow lots of kids all right on a routine basis if you enjoyed this clip check me out on the free agent lifestyle channel for the best morning live stream every weekday and of course we're back for the evening live streams as well check out the times in the feature channels on this channel right here and also the links are in the description box i will see you there new 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 world order